Hey guys, Jay Nelson here, welcoming you to another Friday Fit Tip. Let's go. Guys, right, so say hi to her, say hi. Hi. All right. So today, she's going to help uh, help me show you some of the exercises that um, we wrote in the newsletter last week. I, I think that you prefer see her doing it rather than me, okay? So today, we're going to touch on hip extension, hip hyperextension. Let's go for it. Come on. So she's going to get under the bar for a barbell squat. All right, so back up a little bit. Feet hip width apart, chest tall, hips down and back. Let's go for it. Come on, give me five. So this here is an example of a hip extension. So you want to squeeze, bring your butt under the bar to the top, boom, up and lock. We're going to move it through nice and fast so we can get a lot done. Thank you. Rack it for me, please. All right. Another variation of the squat will be a front squat. So she's going to go straight into a front squat position. All right. Notice the rack elbows nice and high. She's going to sit down and back. Again, this puts a little more challenge on the quads, but it's also great to fire up in the glutes. She goes to the top, she squeezes at the top, and boom, rack it. If we're not quite there yet, we can do a body weight squat. So that's going to be a body weight squat now. Boom, boom. And with that squat, we can also add dumbbells, a uh, kettlebell, a rubber band. To make it more difficult from making a reverse lunge. So reverse lunge we're making sure that she's pressing on the heels, dropping the butt below the knee to fire the glutes more, squeeze on the way up, and bang. Alright, so next up we gotta step up. Okay, so just come across here, please. Um, just put one foot on the step, don't start as yet. So if you can see in this position, you can see that her glutes are already below the knee. This is optimal to make sure that the glutes are the primary mover in this exercise. So step up and put your foot into the box, please. Step back down with this one, please. Step back down. Good. Up again. So what we're doing is an alternate step down. And on the way down, she's moving nice and slow to accentuate the eccentric contraction to fire the glute even more. All right? Squeezing at the top, pressing through the heels all the time. Boom. Thank you. All right. That's a couple different ones. We're going to take it to the floor now for a bridge. So lie on the floor for me, please. Awesome. All right, so give me a regular bridge. Let's go for this bridge. And up. Draw that belly button in. And press through the heels. Now making sure in this one, the knees stay in line with the ankle. And they don't dive in or abduct. Or adduct, sorry, my bad. And hold, bring it back down. One leg up, go for a single leg variation. If you want to get a little more advanced, this is a single leg bridge. It's a little more tougher than the other one. But if you're advanced, as some of you are, this could work. Boom, awesome. All right, now we're going to take it to the bench for a bench bridge. So back on the bench. All right, watch your bench. Be careful. Feet on the floor, heels under the knees, and before she starts bridging, you notice that her rib cage is well into her abdominal wall, so there's no flexion and extension of the lumbar spine. Bridge up, boom, pressing through the heels, pushing the belly button, hips up to the ceiling, pause at the top, boom, and awesome. All right, in that position, we could also add a rubber band around the knees. We could add a barbell across the hip, just to increase the intensity of this exercise. Cool. All right, so we're gonna take it back down to the floor in the prone position, the quadruped position. We're gonna do some hip extensions, some hyper extensions. So let's stretch our leg out and go up to the ceiling. Boom. Keep the core nice and tight. So it's like a hyper extension of the hip, and how I cue clients. I say, picture you're locked in the trunk of a car and you're trying to kick the trunk open. Boom! You kick it up to the ceiling. The back foot is dorsiflex, you're pushing through the heel, firing up the glute on the way up. Awesome. Thank you. Okay, now, so we are working the deadlift. This is a posterior chain powerhouse. Now what she is doing is a regular deadlift. So in this regular deadlift, 
she's dropping the entire upper body. She's using a little more knee flexion. And as you notice, the upper back is staying over the hips at all times. So now she's, up. she's involved in a little more the lower back, but she's also firing up the glutes. And relax, thank you. We are gonna switch right now to the Romanian deadlift, which is hamstring dominant, but also gets the glutes fired up. So let's go for it. See so the RDL, the angle between the torso and the leg changes, but out a lot of knee flexion. So check that out. So she's dropping her shoulders, basically to the line of her hip and hinging at the hip at the fulcrum, pressing through the heels, firing up the hamstrings. Boom. All right, put that down for me, please. All right, so you could just back up a little bit and do a single leg deadlift variation. For those who have problems with your lower back, we could do a single leg deadlift variation right here. Let's go for it. Reach and touch and one. All right. So in this variation, you can use a kettlebell, you could use a dumbbell, a rubber band, or if you're just starting out and you need to work on your balance, and even for somebody who is experienced, it is a challenge for your balance as well. You fold the hip, press on the heel, and pull, firing up the glutes on the way up. All right? That's your deadlift variations. You could do a sumo deadlift, a kettlebell deadlift, dumbbells, you name it, we could go all the way through with it. Awesome. Oh, no, we could go on forever and show you different variations, but this is just a couple of basic moves you can do for hip extension, hyperextension. Um, next week, we're going to go into hip adduction, which is this, and hip external rotation, which is that. You all know what that is, but it's a little technical, so you're going to get a new term, but we all do those exercises. So stay tuned next Friday. We're going to touch on that. Talk to you later. Bye.